Welcome back. This is episode 18 of the Speed Quest series. In this video, I'll be completing Eyes of Glaufrey. To start the quest, you need 5 construction and 46 magic. The items you need include a bucket of sap, a mudrune, a maple log, an oak log, a hammer, a saw, a pestle and mortar, as well as a knife. This will all be at the top of the description. If you want to keep pace with me, get a stamina potion, a charged ring of wealth, and either have access to the Nightmare Zone teleport, or a dueling ring, or even a fairy ring. I'm using a dueling ring in this video. You will have to kill 6 NPCs, all of which have 1 health. To start, talk to Brimstyle and spam the option 1. Go to the western room and inspect the bowl, then attempt to unlock the machine to the north. Talk to Brimstel again with options 1-1. Head to Hazelmere. Use whichever transportation method you have that is the quickest. You will have to go through a long cutscene with no chat options. I will cut out the approximately 2.5 minute cutscene to save myself some render time. Pause the video here if you are still playing through the cutscene. Once the dialogue ends, use your Ring of Wealth to teleport to the Grand Exchange. Use the Spirit Tree to the northeast and head back to Brimstel. Talk to Brimstel again with option 1 for another cutscene.
After the cutscene, run to the opposite room. Use the mud rune on the pestle and mortar, then use the ground mud rune on the bucket of sap. Left click repair the machine twice, then run back to Brimstale. This is where the mathematics come in. Talk to Brimstale multiple times with option 1 and watch the amount of crystals go up in your inventory. I did it 5 times but 4 can be enough. I'll explain how unlocking the machine works. Here's a table showing how much specific crystals are worth. Attempt to unlock Oaknox machine and you will get a number. In this clip I have the number 15. If you look at the table there are two ways a single crystal can be worth 15. These are what I am after. Use the exchange machine. You can insert three pieces max at a time, so keep that in mind. Insert the exact number you have which I'll refer to as X, or a number that is just above it, mainly X plus 1. Since I had 15, I can either insert 15 or 16. If you look at my inventory, this is how much my pieces are worth. I can't get to 15 or 16 by using free pieces, meaning I have to trade some pieces up or trade some pieces down. It is always smarter to trade down the pieces with higher value though. For example, I put in a piece worth 9. Click the two-sided arrow in the middle and I get back 8 plus 1. Now I can get to 15 or 16. I have a piece worth 8 and multiple pieces worth 4. By inserting 16 and clicking the arrow until I am offered a piece worth 15, I unlock the first layer of the machine. To unlock the first layer, click on the piece in your inventory, then click on the slot to insert it, and lastly click the green light next to the number. This works the same way for the next layer, only now you need to do 3 numbers with the first number needing to be unlocked with 1 crystal, the second one with 2, and the third one with 3. The key here is to understand what you already have. Start from the top. Do you already have the smallest number? In this clip, I do have a 4. Put it in so you understand what you have left for the remaining numbers. If you have so-called slot fillers, those can also help you understand. For example, if I was to place another 4 into the second slot, I would need 8 to get to 12. So you can set your goal to getting an 8. After the cutscene, head to Brimstale. Kill the first evil creature, then talk to Brimstale with option 1. After the dialogue, exit the cave and head to the Grand Tree entrance. Most of the time the second creature will be inside the gate, but it can rarely be outside of the gate too. I will note that if you are struggling to find or see them, use the NPC indicator and rule light. Type in evil creature and press back. The third one will be at the spirit tree. The 
The fourth one is in the northwest corner near the tortoises. The fifth one is next to the king. I will highlight that you need to see the updates at the bottom. If you kill it and instantly go up the ladder, it will not register. This will happen to me as well in this video. The sixth one is at the top of the grand tree. Talk to the king to complete the quest. Thanks for watching. Giant Dwarf next.